Why does Scorpio love Pisces so much? Well, I'm going to make another video on it for you guys because I love this topic. So if you're in a Scorpio Pisces love situation, this is the video for you. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mina. If you don't know me, I'm Mina. I'm a professional astrologer and I love sharing my knowledge with you guys. If you're coming back to my channel, thank you. Welcome back. Please hit like, subscribe, all of that. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much. All right, you guys, today it's my third video about Scorpio and Pisces and the romantic dynamic the two can have because it really is an out of this world connection. And today we're going to specifically focus on the transformation element of Scorpio. So if you have a Scorpio rising sun or moon involved with a Pisces rising sun or moon, this is your video. And maybe even if you're a Pluto person involved with a Neptune person, you can relate to elements of this as well. So I invite you to stay. So yes, we're gonna focus on this transformation element of Scorpio and why that's such a big part of the Scorpio Pisces love relationship dynamic. Scorpio people often do live really hard traumatic lives. They really do seek a life of resistance. They're always trying to find that line between life and death and put themselves in such extreme situations. And because they are people of extremes, you know, they're ruled by Mars and Pluto, they're fixed water, very, very intense, very stubborn and danger seeking almost and in different ways, like some emotionally, some physically, like they put their physical bodies in harm just to test themselves. They often attract very extreme situations in their lives that often are very painful. And pain, unfortunately, is usually the biggest catalyst, the thing that starts a big Scorpio transformation. This can be after a breakup, after losing a job, after any extreme life situation. And through this pain, they become a different version of themselves, often lighter and leaving behind certain dark baggage from the previous situation they were in that was so extreme and painful. And you know, oftentimes through these various stages, Scorpio people can, you know, they're extreme people, so they can either do extremely loving things or extremely hurtful things to other people along their path of self-discovery. And this is why Scorpio loves Pisces so much, because whenever Scorpio goes through a transformation, that's when they are in the rebirth stage, when they leave behind the old baggage and they try to start fresh, they try to grow from the pain. When they are in the rebirth part of that transformation, they can feel very, very vulnerable. And this is why Pisces is so good for them. Because when Scorpio feels vulnerable in that way, right after having a rebirth, right after transforming, they don't want to be judged. They don't want people to throw their past up to them, which I always hear this from Scorpio people. A lot of times they do experience that. You know, they feel different. They're changed. They have gone through a transformation and everyone just wants to throw their past on them and negate their transformation. This is, again, why Pisces is so good for them. They're ruled by Jupiter and Neptune, mutable water, so very adaptable emotions. This is a... This is such a great thing for Scorpio because Pisces is a blank canvas. Think of like an artist, you know, about to paint. It could be anything. And they're very open and empathetic people. So they will just say, Scorpio, this is who you are now. And this is who I will believe in because they are just so accepting people. They want to believe in the potential of you and they want to foster the best version of yourself to come out. So through that belief in you. And it really does offer Scorpio that fresh start that they just so you know, deeply need after a transformation part of their lives. And they will love Pisces so much, so deeply for this. Pisces will not question them about their past, will not judge them for their past, and will let them be the new person will let them be the phoenix because a lot of times Scorpio people they don't just have one situation that makes them the phoenix they're always becoming the phoenix they're always you know dying and being reborn over and over again and Pisces is just the perfect companion for their life path because of that you know open heart that they have they will just love them and not judge them for their 
past for their, you know, the things that they could have done to hurt others, they will believe in the potential, like I said. They will give Scorpio that mega clean, fresh start with open arms, no questions asked. And because of this, Scorpio will, over time, little by little, reveal you know, various things from their different lives, their different, you know, stages of transformation because they know Pisces won't judge them. And they will do this little by little because Pisces offered them that fresh start. They know that Pisces isn't even wanting that, but they feel safe enough to do that. So it's like they can unburden with a Pisces. So of course, like all things in life, you guys, there's good and bad. And the downside of this is that you know, it is a high risk, high reward connection. Scorpio and Pisces can really, you know, uplift each other because Pisces really can offer Scorpio just through their acceptance and open heart, a deep, you know, one of the deepest forms of transformation and rebirth that they could ever experience because they really can be the person they always wanted to be without being judged for their past. And Pisces will get their love and devotion because they're a fixed sign, but on the downside, they can also hurt one another. It's really high risk, high reward, like I said. The Scorpio person can really manipulate the Pisces and make them question reality, really toy with their minds because they're just so susceptible to being manipulated. And Pisces can probably do the worst thing you can do to a Scorpio person and that is leave them, you know, because they are mutable and they do get tired sometimes of the extreme ups and downs that do come with being with the Scorpio person. But you know, that's another video. So you guys, let me know if you like this video. I could probably make just so many videos about this. Let me know if you want more. Let me know if you want a video on Scorpio transformation. I would love to do that. And thank you for being patient with me. I know I've been away for a while, so thank you for sticking around. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.